Hey, Uncle Redneck here. Give you an update. I just climbed up High Rock. And you want to talk about a ball buster. I'm alive. I made it back to the truck. Looks like uh, 6.2 today. Hey, hey, Uncle Redneck here. Got a trail turtle and got Sunday with me. Getting ready to head into the Shandong National Park for another adventure. We're gonna go up here to the uh, Rapidan Camp Trail. It's a historic uh, site. President Hoover had it during his administration. So we're gonna go check it out. And there's the entrance sign to the Shenandoah National Park. So we're going to be seeing that, and also today, this will put me at the 100 mile mark that I've hiked so far this year. Woohoo! So it'll be a good one. Alrighty, we'll catch you on down the trail. Bye. Bye. It's Sunday. Say bye. <laughs> She's not awake yet. Alrighty, this is Uncle Redneck. We finally made it to uh, the trailhead, and with a little bit of uh, struggling, somebody got their pack finally on. Alrighty, so we're going to be heading up here, and hope we're going in the right direction. Oh, there's Big Blue. So, alrighty. We're going to head on down the trail, and if there's anything exciting, we'll bring you back out. Alrighty, Uncle Redneck and crew out. Hey, hey, hey. Here we are at the intersection of Miller Prong Trail and the Appalachian Trail. Heading down that way. Um, parking lots across Skyline Drive and mile marker 52.8. If you want to try and come out here and have a little day hike. All right, it looks like it's gonna be a blue blaze trail. What do you think, trail turtle? I think it'd be fine just as long as I'm not in charge of directions anymore. How about that? Yeah, we had a little mishap, but hey, we worked through it. That's what couples do when they hike together. Uh -huh. All righty, redneck and the crew out. Here's a bunny rabbit. Sunday just scared up. We're hiking with Jack Rabbit. You can't get that rabbit. The action that you see out here. <laughs> Film live. Out on trail. Sunday's trying to get out in front of all of us so she can be on rabbit detail, fox detail, bear detail. We did see a, a deer and a bear on the way up here. So hopefully we'll see some more down here. No, I'm good. I want to see bear. No, it's alright. I want to wrestle a bear. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. Uncle Redneck and crew, we're out. Join this nice, beautiful, lovely trail. It is nice. Later.
checking a little bit ago, and right now at this spot, you know what it is? It's a hundred mile mark. Mm, 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 mm. I did a hundred miles. I hiked a hundred miles. Mm, 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 mm. Do the hundred mile dance, Sunday. Come on, hundred mile dance. She's look at you. Alrighty, this is Uncle Redneck at a very happy moment. Alright, Uncle Redneck, we'll see you down the line. You can hardly see it, but I guess it's the falls of the creek. Really nice place. Good rock to sun bay there. Alrighty, I'll go right now. Yeah. Hey, trail turtle. How'd you like that creek crossing? The first two were okay. The third one, no bueno. I don't... I'm not Indiana Jones, okay? I'm not going to... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
It's nice in there. Front part of the cabin, or the back part of the cabin. I guess maybe one time a fireplace is right here. With the ceiling and stuff's been cut out. As you can tell, it's very basic and very elegant. Now imagine on a cool fall evening with all your dignitaries and stuff and sitting out here in front of the, an outdoor fireplace. Making world decisions, and chilling over, I don't know, let's say single Scotch malt or single barrel bourbon. Out of the 13 buildings that were here, only three remain. Famous town hall visitors. If you want to read them, you can pause and have a gander what they say. That's a pretty big camp. Mess hall was down back over yonder. And this is how it was back then. Here is peace and quietude, and still is today. Walk over here and see the last but one of the three buildings still remains Oh, one of them's open. Well, this is nice.
plenty of pamphlets and stuff to read. Uh oh, there's the magical phone. The one that went to DC. It's nice. This building's really nice. There you go, read all the camp rules. Nice little fire pot spot. Alrighty, well, gonna walk back over here and see if we can get into the main cabin. Alrighty, I'll go redneck out. Hey, hey, I'll go redneck here. Just got done taking a little tour of the uh, Hoover camp, or Ramadan camp, Ramadan camp, whatever you want to call it. Um, Unfortunately, I couldn't get no pictures or videos due to higher ups uh, worried about security and somebody seen it online and come down here and stealing stuff. Yes, that's what they told me. Um, but the person here that's taking care of the curator, she's got a pretty neat job. She's here for two months out of the year and it's a real nice place. Alrighty, I'll go right now. Yeah.
Oh, uh, but yeah, but the Hoover, President Hoover's camp, that was a nice little camp. Uh, three out of the 13 buildings are still there. I uh, just uh, remodeled the, or redone the presidential cabin. And it was very plain, very, but very elegant at the same time. Very rustic and hardy. Yeah. It, they were the, he was there to relax and enjoy nature. Uh, President Hoover, he paid for all the yellow pine uh, materials for the camp out of his pocket and had the Marine Corps build the camp as a training opportunity. Uh, it was a very nice camp seen in the video. Sal, what did you think about a trail turtle? I agree. It was definitely a beautiful camp. Um, honestly, I would totally stay there. <laughs> I would absolutely love to stay there. It felt better outside than it did, of course, inside the camp or in the cabins, but no, it's all beautiful wood very simple, very rustic, and that water was absolutely gorgeous. No wonder they we went trout fishing all the time. Um, I bet you could catch a lot of fish there, but uh, absolutely, I'd stay there, no problem. But it was a fun hike. I would say not, not so easy that it was boring, but it wasn't so hard that I would even want to call it moderate. But it did, that last crossing of the stream was a challenge for me because I was not crossing that log <laughs> to cross that. Yeah, it, was a, it was an interesting little log that they had across there, all yeah. chopped up and flat for yeah. a bridge, was, a bridge. Yeah, no. Um, so that was not my style. I'll just rock hop, and again, I'm not, uh, I'm not keen on falling in there, but... It was nice, and it wasn't that many people. I was very pleased. I thought we'd just be surrounded, but no. And so, what, one bear, one rabbit, and two snakes. Three snakes. Three snakes. And two deer. And two deer. Where was the third snake? But anyway. Both of them were there at the camp. There was All only... three of them were there at the camp. Oh, I only saw two. Okay. But it was a beautiful day. And the weather was perfect in the woods. Once you got out of the woods, it's hot now. We're in Virginia. So I'm glad I picked that. I love history. So I really wanted to do that one for sure. It is a historical landmark. So respect it. And back to you. <laughs> All right. Well, I got a couple uh, ideas floating around my head for hikes and. Uh, some other videos for the channel. Let's be looking out for them. Uh, so, until next time I see you, uh, have fun, go outside, and enjoy it. Alrighty, I'm the redneck. Out.